All right, Bears fans, prediction time. Will the Chicago Bears trade Justin Fields? Type T for trade or K for keep? Because coming up on today's show, five blockbuster trade ideas if the Bears decide to move on. All right, welcome into Bears Now by Chat Sports. I'm sure this headline triggered some people, but we at least have to explore the possibility that the Bears make a, cha or make a change at quarterback and draft one, which means they would trade Justin Fields. So I'm going to get into some trade ideas here in just a few moments, but you obviously look at the year Justin had. I think there was some improvement. I think the hand injury came at a really bad time because he was coming off the two best games of the year, arguably of his career in Washington and Denver. Uh, and then, you know, it was a little up and down after that. The Bears as a team obviously played better, went four and three down the stretch. Uh, I did see growth, but again, is the, the question is, is it enough to bypass the number one pick in the NFL draft? Pretty good chance it's not. So if they do draft a Caleb or a Drake or whoever, that means trading Justin Fields is on the table. There's a lot of QB needy teams, man. I, I think these six, and especially the three on the left side of your screen, stand out to me. Atlanta, Vegas, and Pittsburgh. I think they all make sense for a Justin Fields trade. Falcons, he returns close to home. Raiders, I think he and Vegas just, like, fits. Like, it's just a spotlight type of city, and he's one of those base of the NFL type of players. And then Pittsburgh. Like, I look at the Steelers, and, like, if he was on their team this year, they probably would have won 12 games. They won 10 games with Kenny Pickett, Mason Rudolph, and Mitch Trubisky. Denver, I don't know if he's a fit with Sean Payton, but they could move on from Russell Wilson. New England, Washington, Commanders probably just draft someone. Maybe New England does as well. Could depend on what happens in the first two picks. Some dark horse teams, what do the Giants do? I doubt they're in the trade market for a Justin Fields with that Daniel Jones contract, so... We'll have to wait and see. I think Seattle's interesting. Maybe have him sit back behind Geno Smith for one year, then take over in 2025. That's something to keep in mind. I would not trade him in the division, but what if Minnesota decides to move on from Kirk Cousins and they want to reset with the young player? Obviously, Fields knows the NFC North. They'd have to pay a premium to me just because it is a divisional trade, but maybe they're out there. Tennessee, New York, uh, how, do, how does uh, Brian Callahan view Will Levis in Tennessee? Uh, New York's interesting if they want to sit him behind Aaron Rodgers for a season or two. So uh, those are some dark horses, but I definitely think plenty of teams that will be interested. All right, trade idea number one with the Steelers. Justin Fields and a fourth to Pittsburgh for the 20th pick. I'm not trading Fields to Pittsburgh, I don't think. I'd have to see the framework of a deal for a, their second-round pick because they're picking later. So their second-round pick is like 52 overall. That's a little low for me. Now, if they give me two seconds, maybe I consider it. Um, in general, I'm not expecting a first-round pick. But in this case, it's a lower first. I send back a fourth top 115 pick uh, to Pittsburgh. And they might be desperate enough to do it because picking at number 20, they're not really in range to get a high-level quarterback in this draft. I mean, maybe a Bo Nix or a J.J. McCarthy is there. But it's either of those guys – some massive upgrade over Kenny Pickett in year one? Maybe. I don't think Pickett's very good, but I for sure know that Justin Fields is an upgrade. And I said it earlier, Pittsburgh went 10-7 and seven with these three bozos at quarterback. You know their defense is elite. I think a Mike Tomlin-Justin Fields relationship could really, really work. Obviously, it depends on who they hire as offensive coordinator, but uh, I think that fit makes sense. You're shipping him to the AFC, so you don't have to face him that often, if ever, depending on how his career goes there. Uh, Fields plus a fourth for a top 20 pick. I mean, listen, if you're dead set on drafting a quarterback and you're Ryan Poles, any offer that lands you a first for Justin Fields is almost a no-brainer, right? Like, if you come to that conclusion. So uh, I definitely would uh, heavily consider this if I was Chicago. Now, name a team you don't want Fields to play for. I obviously don't want him to play in the division. Um, any major NFC contender, I don't want that to be the case. You know, about a month ago, I said, ah, oh, man, don't trade him to Pittsburgh. Like, he'll thrive there. I'd actually be okay with it, though. You're not going to have to face him much. Like, I'd like to see him succeed somewhere. Like, what you don't want is for him to thrive in the NFC and, like, potentially, like, give you problems uh, year after year. So, I'd be cool with pretty much any AFC team. What say you? Drop it down in the comments. And that's the risk of sending him to Atlanta, right? Because what if he gets cooking down there and they're a problem in the NFC? However... 
Uh, I think this framework of a trade is kind of the ballpark you're looking for. A two plus more, a couple of day three picks, one this year, one next year, fourth and fifth rounder. Kind of feels like the sweet spot. Sam Darnold went for a two, four, and a six. Now, I think there's something to the fact, and Brad Spielberger made this point the other day, that at the time, I think teams felt like the Jets just completely screwed up, screwed over Sam Darnold, and they probably did a little bit. I think there's some of that here, and Fields has certainly outplayed Sam Darnold. I think the difference is, is Fields, you have to design your offense to his skill set, right? So uh, I think he's worth more in a trade, which is why I went 2-4-5 instead of 2-4-6. But he may not be worth as much more than you think, uh, despite him being a much better player than Sam Darnold at this point in their respective careers. Uh, you, you look at Atlanta's QB situation, though, man. Taylor Heineke, Desmond Ritter, it's ugly. I know Mel Kuyper's thrown out the idea. Maybe you can get the number eight pick from them. Like, if that's true, I love Justin Fields, and I haven't announced my final decision yet on what I'm doing at quarterback. That's coming soon, though, so stay tuned. Don't you just have to take that, though? Like, you're giving me number eight. Here you go. We love you, Justin, but, like, that's a higher pick than where we drafted you. <laughs> like, I, I just – that would feel like a no-brainer, which is why I don't think it's happening. Uh, I will say this. Like Pittsburgh, even though they didn't make the Steelers uh, – the Steelers did make the playoffs. I think Fields would have had Atlanta in the playoffs in that division. I mean, their QB play was atrocious. If you only watched the Bears-Falcons game this year, if you didn't watch Atlanta the rest of the season, you know how bad it was. I mean, Taylor Heineke, I think, went, what was he, 10 for 27 in that game? I mean, he was awful. And he replaced Desmond Ritter, who was worse. Like It's unbelievable how bad their quarterback play was, and yet they were in the mix to win that division until basically the final week of the season. So... Um, I think Fields would be very comfortable going back toward home. They have Bijan Robinson, Kyle Pitts, Drake London. So uh, I'd be scared to face him in the NFC potentially, but uh, I do think that's a possibility. Now, how long have you guys been a Bears Now subscriber? Let me know in the comments. Has it been a year? You, and maybe you remember based on how many subs we had on the time. I know people DM me, hey, man, I've been watching since 20,000 subs, yada, yada. However you remember, let us know in the comments. And if you haven't, if you aren't subscribed, join us. It's 100% free. Uh, we publish videos every single day, usually two-plus videos per day. So join the channel. All right, trade idea number three, this one with the Raiders. Two, a four, and Hunter Renfro, which Hunter Renfro the last couple of years hasn't been super productive. But in 2021, he had a 1,000-yard season. So like maybe you view this, okay, you get your slot receiver, you get another big-time guy in the draft to go with DJ Moore, then you got your top three guys for next year. Tyler Scott can continue to develop. You can decide what you want to do with Bayless Jones. Now, something to consider is Champ Kelly did not get that GM gig in Vegas. Um, it, they hired Tom Telesco, the former Chargers GM. Now, Mark Davis is hoping he'll stay in that organization as a front office exec, assistant GM, player personnel. We'll see what the title would be. But if he leaves, that, that probably lessens the chances of Vegas trading for him. It's probably already lessened anyway because Kelly didn't get the gig, who, of course, was part of the Bears staff that drafted him. Uh, but uh, that doesn't completely dismiss the idea that the Raiders aren't interested in Justin Fields. Uh, they should be because Aiden O'Connell stinks, at least as a starter. Jimmy Garoppolo is not the answer. There's been rumors, and we talked about this on the show, that they're interested in drafting a quarterback, potentially Caleb Williams. Well, if they can't find a trade to move up, maybe a secondary option is trading for Justin Fields. So uh, I wouldn't dismiss it. I think Kelly not getting that job probably lowers the chances a little bit, but uh, we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. Show Justin some love. Type JF1. Listen, I've been a Justin defender for years. I still am. Uh, regardless of how this plays out, uh, I'm going to be rooting for the kid, just not uh, just not when he's playing the Bears, if they do trade him. Uh, so show him some love. JF1 in the comments. Uh, he's, uh, he's, you know, he's been through a lot in this city, no doubt about it. A couple more here. This one with the Patriots. Uh, this is kind of a juicy one. Uh, Justin Fields, the number nine pick in a fourth round pick, to move up to three, from nine to three. I don't think Fields alone is enough for that capital of nine to three. But if you had a fourth, maybe you have to go third, which I might be willing to do that, is, is an interesting thought. And here's why. Because I know a lot of Bears fans have been, I don't want to lose the, the chance of Marvin Harrison Jr. Keep Justin, keep building, draft Marvin Harrison. Well, what if you can get Caleb Williams and Marvin Harrison Jr. with a trade like this? Maybe New England looks at this and is like, 
We like Caleb Williams. We like Drake May. But if they're both gone, we're not high on Jaden Daniels. We'll just trade for Justin Fields and then take a receiver at nine. Like, because you're giving them nine as well. So, um, listen, a Caleb-Marvin combo, you have Cole Komet. Maybe you uh, uh, add a tight end on day two, like a Jatavion Sanders to pair with that grouping as well. Uh, I don't know if that's enough to make the Patriots pull the trigger. They may just want to draft a rookie, depending on who's there at number three. It's a fun scenario, though. It, it, it's pretty much a guarantee you would get Caleb and Marvin in that scenario. So, uh, and listen, I'm still on the Marvin Harrison Jr. train. Like, I've kind of – I've gone off the idea of taking him at number one like I'm not taking a receiver at number one overall like if you keep Justin I'm trading the number one overall pick there's just too much value to gain with that capital but if you can finagle something with New England where they take Justin you flip from nine to three with them listen <laughs> it's a pretty good uh it's kind of what the Texans did last year right they drafted Stroud traded back up to get uh Will Anderson Jr. two guys uh that they really liked Hey, if you really like Caleb Williams and Marvin Harrison Jr., maybe this is a way to do it. Final trade idea here, back to the Falcons. Uh, listen, third-round pick in Kyle Pitts for Justin Fields. Uh, I talked to our Falcons host, what he thinks Kyle Pitts is worth in a trade. Uh, he said a second or third, so okay. Uh, Two-thirds for Justin, if that's what you're saying. I've said he's probably you know worth a two and a four, two and a five, something like that, two, four and a five. Uh, I think two-thirds, Kyle Pitts at a third, that's, that kind of adds up. Uh, to what you currently had. If you can get a second in Pitts, even better. Uh, this could be fun, man. Uh, you know, I loved Kyle Pitts coming out of Florida. He had that 1,000-yard season as a rookie. I'm like, man, this guy's the next great thing at tight end. And then Arthur Smith just didn't know how to use him. It got a little better this year. It got back up to at least over 600 yards and found the end zone more than he ever had. But I think there's more in Kyle Pitts than what we've seen the last two years. He has enormous talent as a receiving weapon. You don't need to worry about him blocking much. You've got Cole Komet, who's a great receiver and blocking tight end. Uh, Pitts can just work the seam. You pair him with Komet, run a lot of 12 personnel, get a receiver to pair with DJ Moore, boom, there you go. Uh, you have a lot of infrastructure for a rookie quarterback in that scenario. Another note is the Bears could also pick up his fifth-year option. He was a first-round pick. Uh, the Falcons or whoever uh, he's playing for this year would have until I think May to make that decision. So you trade for him. You pick up his fifth-year option, you have team control for two years. So uh, I think that's definitely appealing as well. All right, so there you have it, five trade ideas for Justin Fields to move on. Let us know what your favorite trade idea is. If you like this first one, type one. It's Fields to the Steelers for a first, also sending out a fourth. If you like this one, type two, a two, a four, and a five for Justin Fields to Atlanta. Maybe you like this one, add a little slot receiver, a two and a four, and Hunter Renfro for Justin Fields to Las Vegas. Uh, type four, if you like this one, uh, Justin Fields and a in number nine overall plus a fourth to move up to number three. That one's the juiciest one, man. If you get Caleb and Marvin, <laughs> that's pretty hard to turn down. And then this last one, a third in Kyle Pitts uh, for Justin Fields. If you like that one the best, go ahead and type five. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. Uh, appreciate everybody for tuning in. I know some of you probably didn't like this video. Really want to keep Justin Fields. Hey, I'm not against it. Uh, we just got to explore all possibilities here. If you want more coverage on the Chicago Bears, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you soon.